Hello everybody and welcome to a very, very exciting patch for Marvel Heroes 2015. This one is 1.62 and for those of you who watch my stuff regularly, you'll know that this is very exciting for me personally because it means that I am finally back online after two weeks from my move and then once I got here I couldn't get internet and blah 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 blah. But very exciting to be back here and very excited for this particular patch. There's some very, very cool new stuff that I'm very excited to show you. Uh, the first and foremost thing is Ant-Man. Ant-Man is released to coincide with the release of the new Ant-Man movie and in addition to that we uh, I'll show you some of the abilities for him which are really really cool I have to say first off but in addition to that we have the $25,000 vibranium ticket giveaway which is worth a total of $25,000 there's five that are scattered all throughout the game you have a chance to get them no matter where you are no matter what you're doing and they are unaffected by buffs but basically the idea is if you find one you get five thousand dollars and I'm not certain how many have been found already but hopefully there's still a few because I only just recently started being able to play again right we also have the new pin box here which is uh, just a new thing to purchase at the store uh, we also have uh, a couple of other really cool random things uh, so I'll go ahead and get started with Ant-Man first off before I get uh, before I start talking about some of the other major changes uh, that happen with this game so the big thing with Ant-Man is that he's capable of shrinking in size because of the pin particles uh, so uh, you're able to uh, both shrink and grow and you can also utilize summons that use Ant ants uh, to help you out. So his basic movement attack, the can't catch me, actually shrinks you down to size. In addition, his basic, um, his initial attack here, the, uh, the shrinking strike, actually also shrinks you down. Uh, when you are small, you still have all the capabilities in terms of being able to punch and hit and all that kind of stuff, but you also uh, tend to gain a, a little bit more as far as attacks are concerned. You also have the ability to summon ants uh, right off the bat. You can summon up to 10,000, and then you also get uh, the ability to where any time you hit with any power that deals damage, it will also summon ants. So you can actually use Ant-Man essentially as a, um, as a summoning hero. It's a little bit more difficult, but certainly possible. This is a really cool little thing, the bouncing bullet, which allows you to just bounce around and hit everybody, like so many different uh, types of uh, attacks that work in that same sense. But he's a lot of fun. I haven't gotten a great deal of uh, opportunity to play him obviously because I haven't had internet but he seems like a really 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 fun hero and very very dynamic uh, he really reminds me of vision in the same way that you have the high and the low density uh, whereas with uh, with Ant-Man you've got uh, the the big and the small you've got the the capability of shrinking and growing uh, but that said he has a lot of really, really cool powers, a lot of really fun things that are obviously primarily related to his capability of being an ant more uh, 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 effectively. Uh, so, for example, the Fistful of Ants is a, a nice little uh, melee attack that allows you to, to basically hit with a, a giant fist that is literally made of ants. The problem is you need to have uh, the 10,000 ants ready to go and then see so you can just punch with a bunch of ants. So it's kind of cool. Uh, he's got a lot of really interesting powers. Like I said, a really interesting dynamic in in terms of how you can play him, you can play a little bit more melee centric, a little bit more summon centric. Uh, there's a lot of different uh, potential builds that uh, that you can go with. So very very cool, a lot of fun, and just obviously a very unique character. Uh, one of the biggest things with him though is he has what is arguably one of the best hero synergies uh, that has ever been seen in this game. At level 50, Ant-Man will actually give you straight up plus one strength as his synergy, which is huge. This is the first time uh, that I can immediately remember at least. I'm fairly certain it's the first and only one currently that actually gives you a straight up attribute boost uh, as, a, as a synergy bonus. The other thing is plus five credit bonus, which isn't necessarily bad, but it's not really that great. But that plus one strength can make a really big difference for a lot of different heroes. But either way, Ant-Man, very, very fun, very exciting to see that um, uh, as, as a new hero. The other really major change uh, that, 
that this patch brought along was actually to add in, or not really add in, but to completely and drastically change the way that the story mode functions. Now previously we had the normal heroic and super heroic difficulty levels, but now we no longer have difficulty levels. The story mode is its own uh, separate thing and uh, you don't have different tiers of the story. So you can see here the um, the the chapter ranges you can see here this goes from uh, 5 to 10 this is 5 to 10 and the the prologue is basically 1 to 5 so after chapter 1 then 2 is 10 to 15 etc etc and it just goes up and up where the the whole point of the design is that through the entirety of the story you'll be going from 1 to 60 by going through the story a single time now you may be wondering well we had all of these great bonuses these great things that we got uh, from certain stories mission so how does that work now there's a couple of different ways and I'll show you one of them uh, the the one of the biggest things was that previously we had to go through the story three times so that we could get all of the specific bonuses but now this has been changed in one of two ways you'll either earn three of the same thing by completing the same task one time or there's only one and the biggest and the best of that uh, particular task so for example right now with a taskmaster I'm I'm just going to use my ultimate just because it's awesome. Um, uh, for example, with Taskmaster, you get a rarity boost for completing the Taskmaster miss mission in Chapter 2. Uh, the, the other type of thing is, for example, if you, if you get uh, some of the artifacts, uh, the the different items so like uh, Yuriko's charm or the um, the arrowhead I don't remember the guy's name but now whereas previously you had her uh, normal heroic and super heroic versions of each and every single one of those items now instead you only have the highest level that super heroic one the the highest level requirement so right here this is where we turn in this particular quest and you can see now every single quest actually gives you a lot more experience Every quest gives you some amount of experience, and if it gives you a reward, if it's one that gave you a reward at each tier, now instead it gives you three by just completing the quest once. So for example, for Taskmaster, I get the two-hour rarity drop boost. I get three of them uh, for doing it a single time. Only eight experience, though, because I'm obviously very far off level. Uh, but... For example, if I were to swap over to Ant-Man, which is really not the smartest idea, but I still can then this would mean that I would end up getting a lot more experience for doing the exact same thing. Now let me see if I can reactivate it here. I might have to body slide to go back. Um, but incidentally, uh, if you haven't seen it already, you may uh, you may know that I have my big giant comprehensive guide, uh, my, my version 3.0 guide, and uh, if if you've seen it already, then you know that in that I talk about the story in the context of heroics, normal and super heroics, simply because that's what I was at at the time. Uh, but now that it's changed, I'm actually going to be uh, posting a completely separate video that solely discusses the changes to the story. So if you're interested, keep a lookout uh, for that. I'll also link it in my in my new guide as well, uh, so that you can uh, new people will be able to see it. Uh, when they take a look at the new guide uh, in addition to that. So it looks like it didn't work probably just because I, I came in uh, as as Ant-Man there after completing it with uh, uh, with Doctor Doom. But either way, that's how the new story works. It's I think it's really nice. It consolidates everything a lot more efficiently. And on top of that, we don't have to worry about, um, you know, especially with grouping, you don't have to be on the same difficulty level because everybody is on the same difficulty level because there's only one place to be now. So it's pretty cool. It's, uh, it's very, very helpful. But either way, I'm extremely excited to be back here. I'm so glad uh, to be here again. Uh, today is Sunday uh, that, I, that I am posting this, so uh, be sure that you check back tomorrow because I will be restarting my live streams as well. Uh, so if you want to take a look at that, I'll be playing a whole bunch of Ant-Man, probably going into the story a good bit. And again, uh, make sure that you keep an eye out for my separate video on the story mode itself. But with that, thank you so very much for being here. I hope that you enjoyed this video, and I will see you next time. Lips as sweet as candy Its taste is on my mind.